I'm sure a lot of you grew up reading the Yu-Gi-Oh manga, you know, after you realized the show has a uh, manga, and I did too. I mostly read the individual omnibuses, but things have changed, so where is the manga now? Way back in the good old days, manga was serialized in Shonen Jump magazine, and that's where Yu-Gi-Oh got its start in the West. Then, once enough chapters had been created, it's all compiled into one of these. These have a few names, but the general term is an omnibus. Then everything changed in 2012, as there was an issue with people scanning manga and uploading them online for free. In order to fight this, it all went digital. You can even download the app. Hashtag not sponsored. But the main series of Yu-Gi-Oh! ended. And since that's the one everyone knows the best, people tended to fall off of the franchise after the Pharaoh discovered his true name and banished Zork. So what happened after that? Well, the manga didn't really stop. With every iteration of the show, there was a manga series that was created for it. It started off with the good old classic Yu-Gi-Oh! Then Yu-Gi-Oh! GX was created to go along with the show, except this series had a completely different and separate story. Yu-Gi-Oh! R was made afterward, that took place after the events of Duelist Kingdom, and if you ask me, it's possibly the worst out of all the Yu-Gi-Oh! manga. Then every series followed whatever television series was airing. Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal, and now Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 as of the creation of this video. But that's not everything. You see, the series creator, Kazuki Takahashi, only wrote the original Yu-Gi-Oh! He had very little influence in the creation of everything afterward. He mostly acted as a director for the manga, if anything. And Yu-Gi-Oh! stopped being serialized weekly, so it couldn't be placed in weekly Shonen Jump. So, where is it? This is V-Jump. This is an offshoot of Weekly Shonen Jump that releases manga chapters monthly. And that's the reason why Yu-Gi-Oh! manga takes so incredibly long to come over to the West. So this is V-Jump magazine. I forgot what month this issue is. But this is what you're going to be... This is where Yu-Gi-Oh! manga currently is. This is what you would expect to see on shelves on a monthly basis. As of right now, Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 is the one that's being serialized, as you can tell by Sakaki Yuya being on the cover here. And we're gonna flip through this. You're gonna see what it's like to have, to get V-Jump Magazine. And, you know, maybe just reminisce on the good old days when you could actually get some, some Yu-Gi-Oh! magazines. We got some monster art box promotion for the Kazuki Takahashi art style. Ah, oh, looks so good. I love, I love, I love how Kazuki Takahashi's art style has just evolved over the years and how unique it looks now. Got a little promotion for Legacy of the Duelist. Gonna see, gonna get that on Switch. I mean, you know, I know it's, I know it's out. It's, a, I think it's out in Japan right now. People are downloading it on the Japanese uh, version, uh, Japanese eShop. But uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna wait. I want the physical version of the game. Got some promotions for the new uh, Bakura set for the the freaking Legendary Duelists. I think that's what it's called. Flip through, maybe get a little, maybe get a little insight. I don't know if there's actually any any news from this that you can gleam, but this is fun. And you do get trading card. You do still get a trading card within these magazines. And so I'm going to I'm gonna pop this open. Take this out, bam. There you got, there you have it. It is, it is a pretty card. It's all in Japanese, so I have no idea what it does. I think it's a hand trap, I'm not sure. Tell me in the comments what its effect actually is. A little out of the loop when it comes to the game, but I uh, still try to keep up with the manga at the very least. Gotta love how the Yu-Gi-Oh cards look nowadays. I, I, think it's, I think it's kind of exotic whenever you have a Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh card. I always liked it. I wish they would uh, make it legal to use, but then it would, that cause issues. Flipping through this again, you can see, what was it chapter 45, maybe? Something is happening. I, do, I can't tell. We have to wait for this to be translated into English so that we can tell. You can see that there's a lot of like creases through it. That's because when it was shipped to me, it was shipped during the cold weather. Uh, I've been waiting a long time to try and make this video. I've been having a bunch of books pressed on this, trying to flatten it out. It didn't completely do its job. But, uh, you know, if you can read Japanese, spoiler warning. <laughs> I guess. I love. I, I wish they. I wish they made the omnibus uh, manga this size. I love it being bigger. It would be m much more annoying to shelve, but I like. I like it being larger. 
especially with especially with the 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 mangaka that's doing it right now. Jeez, this is this is gorgeous. I love the style of this guy. But we're not just gonna stop at Yu-Gi-Oh. No, we're gonna go through this entire thing. You can even see the cards that they have that they use. I like that. I always like how they how they incorporated that. I never actually read any of it, but I always just liked it being there. We have this, so I'm pretty sure you can sign up for a subscription. Some more ads. You'll find there's a lot of ads. I think this is uh, some strategy tips. You'll find some Dragon Ball Super stuff in here. All in Japanese, very congested. Can't read any of it, and even if I could, it'd probably be a pain to read. Promoting, now we're getting into the, the Dragon Ball Super chapter. They also serialized Dragon Ball Super in V-Jump magazine. Here it is, Dragon Ball Super. Can look at it for a little bit. Gonna skim through this. Not gonna really pay too much time in this one just because, well, I doubt the majority of people watching this can read it. But, you know, you can probably gleam some spoilers, so. We're in risque territory for anyone who reads it. Unless you just go on their app and just read it as it comes out. In that case, you have no issue with this. This is A-OK. -okay. You're just retreading old ground. So this is funny. You flip the page, you, you flip the page here, and you can see they're advertising a game in the manga, and they're using it like an actual person, and they made it more chibier and easier to draw. And you can see like there's a Switch game that's coming out. It's very difficult to see, but there's a Switch game apparently. Not sure if we're gonna get that over here in the West, but it's fun to see them and how they incorporate their advertisements. Got some going into the One Piece section. I don't think One Piece is in this, but they still advertise the games. Have some Boku no Hero, some, I don't even know what this is. Some app game? Some app game, that's what it is. It's an app game. Got some Black Clover stuff here, shoot. Even even advertising some Black Clover stuff. I mean, chances are they're going to share some of the same... Uh, pe so the people who are reading Weekly Shonen Jump are probably reading V-Jump also. So it makes sense to cross-advertise. Got some Boku no Hero. Of course you got some Boku no Hero. Of course you got Boku no Hero. Got this guy, this sport thing. Don't know what that's about. There, there's a card game around him. Don't really care. Some Dragon Quest stuff. Looks like they have their own ver d version of a Dragon Quest card game. Online card game. That's interesting. Now we go on to Dragon Quest, because this is, they have a manga. I haven't seen any mo any omnibus of the Dragon Quest manga in my store, so I don't know if they're if we're actually getting it over here. So tell me if you're if you actually have been reading it, because I don't know. I've been curious to try and get into the Dragon Quest series. I heard a lot of good things. You know, they're coming out with Dragon Quest 11? I think it's 11? 11-ish. On the Switch, I should mention. It's already been out for a while, just... I'm just behind. And so here we have another card. You get several... several cards in V-Jump. It's not just Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore. Let's pop this open, see what's inside. Monst Card Game. This is, oh, I like the back. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little wavy because of the uh, the damage on the entire thing. So that's a little sad. This is the front. It looks, I like, I like the style of this, how it's like slightly diagonal instead of how, it, how cards are usually just so vertical. It makes it a lot more dynamic, a lot more comic book-esque if you ask me. I have no idea about this card game or even if there's a manga around it, but I like it. I'm gonna probably try and hunt down, if you guys want, I can hunt down a booster box or a starter deck and see if I can do an opening on this, because this, uh, this is pretty neat. Let's see if we can flip through, see if there's a actual... Oh, there's a Grand Prix happening. Monster Strike. It's probably what it's called. Monster Strike, thank you for putting that in English. That's convenient. We have some, ooh, Fire Emblem news. That's nice. Some Nintendo Labo. Lots of ads. It's, 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 it's incredible how just how much advertisements they shove into this. Some uh, with Y Cross uh, Promised Neverland. I'm actually, I was actually on the verge of getting that just because I wanted it so bad. Some Digimon stuff for all you Digimon fans. And I should mention that there is a lot, there's a heavy amount of congestion with card games in Japan. You can even see Battle Spirits still going strong in Japan. Uh, Extreme Battle Spirits Extreme Game is probably their next expansion or something. I am not sure. But hey, some news on Battle Spirits. You have some. Zillions of Enemy X. I've seen this a lot whenever I peruse card games, and it's I see this all the time. I have no idea what it is, but uh, it looks like it's all girls. That's that's basically what I gleam from it. Every single time I see a card from this game, it's just girls. So then we have oh, this is this is the interesting one. I think this is if I remember right, this is an actual card game, and they just have a manga for it. Tell me if you recognize this, because it looks adorable. 
And this is, looks just so cute in every aspect. Very, very soft. I think it was supposed to be white cross, but I forget. It's probably gonna show me at the end. Let's see here. This is, oh, we get a card for it? No, this is Zillions of Enemies. This is Zillions of Enemy. They have a, they have a manga. That's really cool. Let's check out the card that you get. I finally have a Zillions of Enemy card. Here we have the, the back of the card right here. Not really that impressive if you ask me. But the front, ooh, that is cool. That does look pretty. I do like that. Yep, now I'm curious to try my hand at grabbing some zillions of enemy cards. But it's all in Japanese, so it's like, is it even worth it? Is it really worth it? I'm not gonna be able to do anything with the cards. I'm a collector though, so. I don't know, this looks really pretty. I like it. I wish, I wish it wasn't, you know, kind of warped because of the damage of shipping, but it's the risk you run when you buy online from another country. The struggles of being a weeb. Otaku, I don't like calling myself those things, but I can't think of a better term for it. A, a foreign collector, a, a cultured collector. That's what I am, thank you very much. But that is the entirety of Vija. Oh yeah, you can even see them advertising the, the Dragon Ball Super game on the back, there you go. For any any of you guys who want more, and want more info on that, that's for you. But that is where the Yu-Gi-Oh manga is right now. It's right here, it's right here. That's where it is. So that is everything I have for this video. Remember, sharing is caring. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay beautiful and keep playing.